everybody welcome back I am this video we're gonna do something a little bit different as you know the last video I I, I did the uh, got the new echo flow uh, echo flow river pro uh, which before I was anti buying these solar generators because they're just so expensive but I have been having fun with this thing uh, last video I'm, I'm not gonna go over to what it can and can't do the last video I showed you how um, showed you a lot of different stuff that it could do. So if you want to go see that, look at the, the previous video, you can see what this thing can power. But what I really like about this thing after doing a lot of homework on, on these is how fast it charges, because that's important to me. If it's going to take eight, eight to 10 hours, uh, you know, seven, eight to 10, whatever it may be, average I think is about six to, six to eight uh, hours, somewhere around there from what I've seen. Uh, as far as charging time for these units, it's that it just takes all day long to get it charged, and um, so I may not have use of it, right? So during that time, and I want to be able to have use of it if I'm in a power down situation. So this is the one unit that I found that charges the fastest. So if you're in between, again, in between a uh, a power outage, you have rolling blackouts. As it as the power goes out, this thing can, can you, you have it hooked it up to uh, to your house outlet. And when the power comes on, it can charge it, and it charges it fast. It usually charges it, I think, this one about within about two hours, roughly, that you can get this thing charged. But, which which is great, because then it goes away, so you've got it charged up, you got power again to, to get you through uh, the evening or whatever you need to do. What I like about this one is that, it, obviously, it's a solar charger, so you can also charge it with uh, solar panels. So, I actually have a 100-watt uh, panel and I wanted to see how much use I can get out of that panel. This is a Harbor Freight panel. The, uh, so I got asked a interesting question. Uh, the other, when I did the video uh, last time, how am I making it work? And the reason is, I, I guess the, the, what, what the question was is, how was I able to make a Harbor Freight panel work on this? And the reason is, it's because this has a special connector, by the way. When you receive this, and maybe this is a lot of stuff that's not talked about in some of the videos, is when you receive this, this is the connector that you use to plug into the unit. On the other end has these connectors. These are MC4 connectors, okay? If you buy some Renogy Ren products, you can look up Renogy. Uh, most other products, the solar, most of the solar panels that you see out there come with these MC4 connectors. Um, so, the panel that I have on mine is the Harbor Freight panel, uh, and it doesn't come with that type of connector. It comes with the, what they call this S S A E. I think it's S A E uh, cord. So you so the question was, how do you connect it? How do you connect it to this? It ain't gonna work. There is an option you can get out there, and I recommend it. It's a kit. It's an adapter kit, and if you notice, it's S A E there. And the MC4 connectors there. Simple little, little connector. When you buy this, okay, and you can go look for an SAE to MC4 adapter. Uh, you can find them on Amazon all day long. When you find these, it also comes with this little piece right here, okay? Very important little piece. For some reason, I don't know why, that's just the way it is, on the Harbor Freight panels, the polarity is uh, different, backwards. So if you don't have this adapter and you connect it to, you connect it to this, this plug, you may screw something up. So it's very important when you get this little extra adapter that you put it on there, have it on there, and to your panel, put it on there. There you go. There you go. So you've got to connect it to the adapter, right? And then all you have to do, pretty simple, is connect it up. Really important thing. Make sure it locks into place, or you're not going to have a good connection. It's got little clips in there. You want to make sure that it locks into place, okay? So now I've got it all connected, and it's ready to connect into into this box, okay? If you buy a Renogy panel, it already comes with MC4 connectors, by the way, so you won't have to worry about that. But now, here's the cool thing. A lot of people wonder, how much can you get wattage out of a Harbor Freight panel? The, uh, you know, a lot of people don't think you can. Today I got lucky, I got a little bit of sun outside. It's cold, uh, the temperature's dropping. The, uh, if I'm wearing a jacket, you know it's, it's, it's getting to, I think it's about 40, 
40 something. I'm not sure what it is, but it's cold. It's sunny, but it's cold. We're going to plug this thing in and we're going to see how much we get out of that 100 watt panel. I'll show you which panel I got out there. It's the same one that was in the last video. Uh, I, I ordered more connectors because I wanted to make sure it all worked. I got more connectors and, and to connect them in parallel as well. So this thing allows you to bring in 200 watts of power to charge it, which is great because that means you can get this thing charged off of solar if you were able to get 200 watts in three hours. The reality is I don't, you're not going to get the full amount. Let's kind of get an idea. So let's plug it in and let's see what we get. So I got it on here. Let's see. I'm going to bring this in a little bit closer so you can see it. There we go. There we go. There we go. I want you to be able to see. So, here we go. Here we go. We're plugging it in. What are we getting out of this thing? Oh, there we go. There we go. Ooh, look at how many hours it takes to charge. The hours are going down fast. I'm at 72% right now. It says 47, 50, 66, 71, 70, oh, wow, 77. Ooh, can we hit 80? Come on. 78. Come on. Give me hit oh 79 give me an 80 give me an 80 come on baby give me an 80 ah, she doesn't want to give me 80 but that's pretty that's pretty amazing 79 watts and just with that one panel it'll be charged up in three hours and we're at 72 percent whoa that's pretty cool that's pretty cool team this this little unit is very very awesome i, I there's a lot of them out there and i'll tell you what the uh, what I didn't talk about last time is some of them will charge. Uh, they have a lifespan, and the uh, some of them will. You spend a little bit more money, and you'll get a thousand to two thousand uh, charges out of them, or twenty five hundred charges on some of them. The uh, like the Blue Eddy, for instance, and the um, uh, and the, like this one thinks rated for like about eight hundred to a thousand, somewhere around there. And uh, people say, hey, well, hey, that's the other one sound better. Yeah, but it take about eight hours eight six to eight hours to charge those things up from an outlet and and oh by the way the, the chargers are very loud this thing is quiet just doing this charge is, is you're not gonna hear which you, you don't normally hear it anyway with solar but the the uh the connector okay is the uh the unit to charge it with they and some of them are pretty loud so this thing is very quiet the way it charges is very quiet when you put the uh, cable onto this um i mean it, it's just an awesome unit i really like it and what's great look at this once I get the other panel, and I'll do a video when I get the other panel, show you how to connect all that up. Once I get that, uh, once I get that other panel and put it on here, I'm really gonna be really excited because that means no matter where I go, I can set up the panels as long as I got good sun. It can be charged up pretty quickly, and in this case, I mean it's it's it's, it's just it's just amazing. It just it's, it's amazing. So this is a really cool unit. I want so I just wanted to do a quick video to show you because I just don't see a lot of videos out there on how to connect it especially to the river flow, uh, especially this connection right here. A lot of people just don't understand this extra little piece, very important. It changes the polarity on it, okay? So you want to make sure that you that you put it on correctly. That's it. That's all I wanted to do on this video. Uh, show you the um, show you the uh, River Flow Pro being charged with the uh, 110 um, Harbor Freight panel and how to connect this uh, adapter. Very important because you don't want to damage anything. The uh, and the differences again. So when you order them, S A E M C four. Okay, so just the different than connectors. So I'll show you the, the panel. It's a really simple panel. Look, 80. I got 80. That's awesome off of that panel, and it's cold outside. Cold doesn't have a difference, but the, there's not much heat intensity out there at all. But let's go check. Let's go check out the, the simple panel. All right. And again, just a simple 100 watt panel from Harbor Freight. Hey. So this thing's working good. So pretty cool. And, and I mean that simple Harbor Freight panel. I, I I got a good deal on it. That's why I why I have it. I paid uh, I think I paid like I got it on sale. Paid somewhere around 85, 90 bucks, uh, which is not a bad deal at all. So the uh, that's what I'm using. I've got a, I've got a bunch of panels in there from that I got set up for another setup that I've got. Uh, be a different video, but this unit is just plain cool i can't man I, I highly recommend it i highly recommend it this i'm having a lot of fun with this thing i've got a lot more tests to do but when i get the parallel connectors I'll, I'll do another video to show you how to connect that connect that up so you have 200 watts running into this unit that's it i uh, hope you learn something every single time goodbye